Act 1 and 2, where there will be an opportunity to buy treats in the lobby. They will also be available after the show. Please refrain from class photography. At this time, please silence all cell phones and pagers and children. We hope you enjoy. The show is about to begin. Annabelle, it was 
pretty wonderful to come back to a thing like this. That's why I wanted it. I wanted it for all of us. Don't be angry, Annabelle. Say you're not angry, please. Yes. What are we supposed to do? Run back to the apartment? The barn? 
my survey instruments down and fix you up a swimming pool and eat off you all summer and spring. Oh, I can probably wait to get started. Oh, you hear that, Enzo? I'm going to get that board down right now.
come on now, John, I'm going to teach you a thing about serving. The brooks got water in it, in it anyhow. You need me for a few minutes, Mother? No, you go out and drown in the brook, dear. One of us will have water in it anyway. Ten minutes to four. I've got an hour yet. Are you sure about the train, Mr. Bullock? Yes, sir. 538 Express. Okay, here we are. 538 Express. Does not run after April 21st? Let's see, that must be another one here. Here we are! No, that goes the other way, yeah. 546 a.m. Yeah, this is funny. How about 1054? Nothing before that. You want to stay around, right, Steve? You might as well, Steve. Yes, you're trapped like a rat. Guess I'd better. What train can I get in the morning? All right, morning trains. Uh, 546 a.m. 546. 546. After 546, there's nothing until. 1.20 in the afternoon. Gosh, that's kind of a... Well, I guess I'll just have to take the late one tonight. I'm not getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's go, Match. Really? We couldn't have found out about the trains beforehand? I wonder why they took that train off. Why don't you stay in New York for the summer, Newton? You'll get some sleep anyhow. Well, I asked Mr. Henderson before I bought the place. I said, could you commute? And he said, yes, you certainly could. Oh, you can. Of course, you'll get to the office at quarter to seven in the morning. Keep fooling out here night to get some sleep. You won't see much of the double breasted barn swallow, Newton. You can commute. Mr. Fuller, got good news. Oh, well, that's right. Oh, you hear that, Annabelle? What is it? Did you ever drill down 425 feet? And what do you think? You just struck mud. <laughs> mud? Why, that's fine. Bring me a glass, will you? Is mud good, Mr. Kipper? Well, best thing we struck so far. Oh, I think it's wonderful, Newton. Those hot nights in August when I say to Katie, Katie, bring us a great big pitcher of ice mud, will you? Well, Mrs. Fuller, normally when you strike mud, there's got to be water around somewhere. So you really think we struck it this time? Certainly do. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, tell me. Drill hard, let the water go for it, man. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Mr. Fuller, a couple of things. See, I ordered the gravel, but we're going to need another load. Comes to a little more than we figured. We figured $800 a load, but it comes to be about $1,800. Uh, but then we won't need gravel for a couple of years. Price of lime went up too since we last spoke to you. You about 2400 a load? Uh -huh. And then there's the trees, Mr. Fuller. You have got to do something about them trees. What do we have to do about the trees, Mr. Kimber? Pay them for standing there? You've got to spray them. See, you got them two elm trees out front. They're allowed to get the elm light. And that oak tree out back, it's allowed to get the oak core. That old willow, it's, allowed, it's already got a canker in it already. And then there's the tent caterpillar and the measuring worm. Say, I. I didn't know it's about trees, Mr. Kimber. Oh, yes, Newton. You see, the measuring worm measures how much money we've got, gets in touch with Mr. Kimber, and pretty soon, we're living in a tent with those caterpillars. And then there's the Japanese beetle. They'll be coming July 17th. Let me understand this, Mr. Kimber. Every tree has to be sprayed. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Well, who we runs through the woods and sprays those trees, Mr. Kimber? They seem to be I don't know, ma'am. All I know is trees have got to be sprayed. Annabelle, if Mr. Kimber says the trees ought to be sprayed, then, well, he knows. If he knows, let him answer my question. Who sprays the trees in the woods, Mr. Kimber? Uh, what else was there, Mr. Kimber? Well, talk about the trees later, okay? He ought to be sprayed if you ask me. Was there anything else? We're going to need a truckload of manure. It comes to be about $600 a load now. Why, that's a bargain. What was it, a sale, Mr. Kimber? And the dirt, Mr. Fuller. We're going to need at least six truckloads of dirt. Now, just a minute, Mr. Kimber. If there is one thing this place has got, it's dirt. We are not going to buy any. Oh, it's not just dirt, Annabelle. It's a special kind of dirt. Newton, we have got no water. All right. But now to find that we've got no dirt, that is too much. Thank you very much, Mr. Kimber. I'll see you later. And then there's the 17 year locusts, but they won't be coming along till August 1st, so we don't have to worry about them. <laughs> the 17 year locusts, too. Oh, 
people who come every 17 years, Isabel. Yes, I can just picture them talking the whole thing over last year. One locust saying to another, one more year to the floor, buy that place, and up we go. We'll all need a new foolish place. Us and the Japanese beetle and the Ted caterpillar and the measuring bird, we'll all gain up and have a grand old time. Sometimes I just don't understand you. Here you are, face to face with the most amazing thing in the world, nature. And all you see is a few insignificant little trivialities. Have a grand fantasy, the most wonderful thing ever. The whole panorama of nature going on right before your eyes. Insect against insect, worm against worm, all the, the forces that make a Japanese beetle come into life first and focus stay in the ground for 17 years. You are a strong awe, the very privilege of being able to watch it. Why, that's the greatest love scene you've played in 22 years. Well, it's making that all the way through, but how you stand there and complain about buying a little bit of spray? That's all very fine, Newton, you and the insects. But when the honeymoon is over, where is the money coming from to pay for all this? It's not going to be so much. You always have to do things like this in the beginning. Take gravel, for instance. You heard what Mr. Kimmer said. You don't need gravel for another two years. Oh, as far as gravel is concerned, we're all set. I was just thinking of little things like, hmm, eat it. Because when the new art costs more than a foot on steak, it kind of makes you stop and think. Good
I could have put the shutters. I'll do this, Fuller. 